This is a session on Azure ML overview. Before we jump into Azure ML, let us start with two stories. One is the story of a data science competition which I had participated that required predicting time series data. For this, I tried five different algorithms, Arima, ETS, Facebook Profit, XGBoost, Random Forest. I also used several imputation techniques which also involved a number of hyperparameters. The competition ran for around two months and I worked on it continuously. But it was very difficult and cumbersome to maintain the various metrics of the model runs and their hyperparameters. It would have been much more easier if I could manage the models, if I could log the metrics and the hyperparameters in a systematic manner. Another story, writing a research paper. This involved classification of breast cancer images. I used 13 different models which included deep learning architectures and classical computer vision models. The complexity here is more since it involved different architectures with different hyperparameters. Moreover, it was an unbalanced data set, therefore more metrics such as precision, recall its score and balanced accuracy were used. The model management and hyperparameter management becomes very difficult if we do not have a very good platform for quick experimentation and also for the analysis of results. So that is why you would require a platform for operating machine learning workloads. Here is where Azure ML comes into picture. Azure ML provides a scalable on-demand compute. It provides data storage and connectivity, ML workflow and orchestration, model registration and model deployment, metrics and monitoring. The basic building block of Azure ML is the Azure ML workspace. The Azure ML workspace we will see in the next lecture in detail, but it is composed of compute, notebooks, pipelines, data, experiments and models. You can consider it as the house in which all your models and all your artifacts resides. But when you create an Azure ML workspace, you also get the storage account, application insights and key vault. Thank you. This gives us a brief introduction of Azure ML. We will go into the next lecture where we will discuss the Azure ML workspace. Thank you. Bye.